today, we're talking about a new specimen of stupid. A special kind of breed that triggers people even to this very moment. The biggest clown in hockey, Mike Milbury. But really fast, some context. In the early 1980s, the New York Islanders were on top of the world. With Hall of Fame legends of Mike Fossey, Brian Trottier, and Billy Smith, the Islanders won four consecutive Stanley Cups. This team was so dominant that they recorded a 19 consecutive playoff series win streak during that time span, and it still stands as one of the unbreakable records of the NHL today. I mean, Jesus Christ, how is that for a dynasty? But our story starts in 1995. So why did I even mention this? I just wanted to show you how deep a franchise can plummet from its glory days. So yeah, a decade later, everything was just a clusterfuck. The parades ended and missing the playoffs became a regular occurrence. It was time for a change. Their strategy? Remember that guy who went into the stands and stripped the fan's shoe off only to beat him right beside a police officer? Let's name him head coach! Ah, fuck it. Let's make him the GM as well. And this was the beginning of the new lapping stock in the NHL. Worse than that are the Oilers of the 2007-2015 era. Well, actually, nah, they're pretty close. Back to the story. A rebuild takes time, patience, and proper development. Milbury didn't do any of that shit. In order to really accelerate the rebuild process, Mike Milbury decided to make some trades. Islanders acquired a 24-year-old Martin Straka, who actually scored 95 points in a single season, just not with the Islanders because Milbury put this guy on waivers two months after making the deal. So yeah, played 22 games and just peaced out. And Brian Burrard, who was the number one overall draft pick in 1995 and actually posted some pretty solid 40-point seasons while winning the Calder Trophy for being the Rookie of the Year. Now, I must admit, Milbury did get a beauty in Burrard, but this is Mike Milbury we're talking about. He always finds a way to fuck shit up. I'll come back to that. And the Ottawa Senators acquired blue chip defensive prospect Wade Redden, who was drafted second overall in the same draft as Brian Burrard. Wade Redden is currently fifth all time in points category for the Ottawa Senators, right behind none other than Eric Carlson. Then, during the 1998 season, the Islanders are pretty bad. It's time to trade more prospects! The Islanders acquire a proven leader and a man with passion, Trevor Linden, to save the franchise. And the Vancouver Canucks acquire a third round pick who turned out to be Yarko Rutu, who had a pretty decent NHL career, a 23 year old Brian McCabe, who was a very good defenseman and posted great point totals in his career, and a 23 year old Todd Bertuzzi, who became a part of Vancouver's West Coast Express line scoring 449 points in 518 games until the Moore incident but that's that's a that's a totally different uh topic here and mind you a year later Trevor Linden got traded for a first round pick who turned out to be Branislav Meze Meze I don't know so in hindsight it's basically a third round pick McCabe Bertuzzi for Branislav Meze Milbury, what in the hell were you thinking? So anyways, even when Trevor Linden arrived in February, the Islanders still missed the playoffs. Milbury's plans? Trade more prospects! The Islanders acquired Dimitri Nabokov, who didn't quite meet expectations as a first round draft pick. And Mike Milbury gave up the 20 year old JP Dumont, who was drafted third overall two years prior by the Islanders. I mean, the Islander fans had to endure a 50 loss season, which is pretty terrible on its own. And then when they finally get a glimpse of hope on a. Nope, you're gone! Oh man. Then in the 1999 season, the Islanders are one of the worst in the NHL once again. And everyone has probably caught on by now. Milbury says, let's trade more prospects. I mean, one has to think at this point, he is purposely trying to ruin the Islanders. The Islanders acquire goaltender Felix Potvin, who did pretty well considering the Islanders were one of the worst at the time. And the Toronto Maple Leafs acquire Brian Burrard. Yeah. Remember that Rookie of the Year defenseman that Mike Milbury got by giving up Wade Redden? And the only good player that Milbury gets in a trade? He just trades him away. Why not? Fast forward to the 2000 offseason, the Islanders were on a 6 year playoff drought thanks to Mike Milbury's genius dismantlement of the U and Matt Mike wants more. Milbury decides to trade more prospects. 
On the day of the 2000 draft, the Islanders acquire Oleg Kavasha, who surprisingly spent a few years in the NHL. Now, considering Milbury's record, that's pretty good. And Mark Parrish, who was also very serviceable for the Islanders. Wow. Maybe after all that experience as general manager, Milbury is actually getting pretty good at this. You know what? I feel optimistic. Let's see what Florida got. A 22-year-old Oli Jokinen. Okay, I'm... <sighs> Okay, I, I can live with that. I mean, you know, there are two very- And Roberto Luongo, a fourth overall 21-year-old goalie who is currently one win away from being fourth in all-time wins category in the history of the NHL. I'm sorry, Islander fans. And if you are an Islander fan right now, please do not watch the last part of the series. It only gets worse. Islanders, all shot, Tampa Bay in 